Hi, in this project to show you how to create a page to visualize data received from your Sigfox devices using Master of Things platform in a, in a few minutes. Once you access dev.masterofthings.com sites, you will get the login screen. You will notice the new users button, which is, will help you to subscribe and get instant access for a trial account. Here in this demo, I'll be using my credential. Once I enter the password, I get access to the Master of Things IDE. I will describe a little bit shortly, but first to access data received from Sigfox in using Master of Things, you need to configure or go through three steps. First, configure the sensors, then configure the device in the configuration. I'll call back the Sigfox backend, then create the page to visualize this data. So first we will go for the tools and choose sensor managers. Once I click sensor manager, I get the list of sensor in the stall in the system that they have access to. We have added a sensor as a template, so simply you can click copy to access this, to copy these sensors with your information. Simply at that time, you can only change the name of the sensors. Uh, for the sake of the demo, we'll see my device okay no other thing need to be changed simply move to the next step and next step scroll down we will describe this in another video then click copy in a copy you will notice this is the new sensor id added for you Simply, you will access some configuration that is will be copied in the description of the video in YouTube. And you simply need to add this IDE in the configuration file. Then I'm ready to go for Sigfox backend and configure it. Simply, I click device type. Choose, my, choose the type of my devices and configure a callbacks. In the callbacks, I click a new one and I choose the custom callbacks. There is a few th configuration to be added in this. The URL of the, the platform, which is will be okay, and choose post and make sure this is a JSON type application and the body I will Copy the JSON file with the configuration in the body and then click OK. You will notice I have configured now. Then I will access device type again and try to run the simulator again to make sure the device reading is submitted to my sensor. Then back to the IDE. Now the last step is configuring or adding a project. Simply I will need to refresh my IDE to get the latest, latest of the sensors. This information about the sensor have been added. So and then I'll be ready for developing building my project. Create a new project. For this case I killed sick Fox app no space. Once we added the project will be listed in the project page side, add a new page, which will be page one. Once the page is selected, I see the design area is enabled. I can drag any plugin from the left side. And for this plugin, I choose the grid. In the grid, once I clicked, you see the plugin property listed here. Simply, there's two properties to be checked or to be updated here. Enable scrolling, I want to see data. And then the second most important thing is edit. We edit, once I edit the data source, which is show me the old sensors instead of the system, I will enter the sensor ID. Okay, just to make sure this is a sensor ID. Okay, we see listed. Once I select the sensor ID, all the reading in the sensor will be added and select again 
and click maybe show the recent data first would be much better before running the project i need to confirm i'm saved to the project and able to run it i click run the project once i run i will see the grid listed and show the data received you will notice data is received at the moment if i click simulator again i can see more data received just go again to the project hit run again i will see it updated with a new data You will see this is the new updated data. Thank you for watching.